morning, I've got two after on uh, the games. Two on these? Yeah. Five on these? Five, yeah. Five on these. Go on, get rid of them. No worries. Right, mate. A couple, there's a couple of them PS3 games I'd have if you would sell them for a pound each. Which ones? Um, there's. Is it down to you? That's your part. Uh, Black Ops, uh, and there's a, a Godfather game somewhere. Uh, I can't remember where I saw I it now. The oh, there we go. <laughs> that one. Yeah. yeah. No, they're interesting, but not quite like them. Uh, We're gonna try. We'll try. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'd take them too if it was if you're doing for a pound, pound each. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> um, have you got a change of a five, mate? Please. Oh, morning, mate. Oh, mate. How, how much are you after on that one? That one? Yeah. Give me three quid. Oh, nice. Tenner. So I'll leave it for now. No Give worries. Me two quid. No, it's alright, mate. No worries. Take it free. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll give you a pound for it if you if you want that. Pardon? Yeah. Let me just uh, double check which My one. wife said don't bring anything. <laughs> Morning, how much after on the DVD? Yeah? Uh, have you got a change for pounds, sorry? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Cheers, mate. Morning, mate. How much are the DVDs and the box sets and stuff like that? And the games, the, uh, the prison break one? Three quid? Two quid? Two quid? Two quid. Uh, and what about the PSP games? Found each one. Yeah? Cool. Would you take two quid for the prison break one, mate? Yeah? Just gonna count, they're all there. Mouthpiece out. Okay, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, you got that? Thank you, mate. Fifteen, yeah. Do you know what network it's on? Uh, what network is that on? I'm not sure. Sure, mate. Sure about that. I'm gonna say EE, but. No worries. What is it? An iPhone five, that one, isn't it? Five it. Five it. I'll leave that one for now. Cheers. How much are you on the games? Two quid eight, Is that a pound for that one? Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. Uh, This is like kids, girls, kids, tops. Free for, yeah, 50 
Cool. Morning, how much are you off on the... Uh, yeah, uh, two quid. Two quid, yeah. It's whole safety. Is that a pound for it? Yeah, it's a pound. 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 Yeah, it's a Nice one, thank you. Hmm? Morning, mate. How much you after on the? Uh, how much you after on the exit? Five quid, mate. Five quid, yeah. Twenty quid, no, it's not open, it's Would you do eight for two? Yeah. yeah. You got two quid change? Cheers. Morning. How much you after on that one? Quid, yeah. Okay, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Change, mate. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Morning. Oh, you know how much you're after on the game? That's a pound, darling. Yeah. Uh, take 50p for it. Yeah, go on, darling. Yeah. They gave him the PS3 version and you can't play it on his PS4. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah. How do I do it without? There we go. Yeah, sorry mate, I'm struggling in. That's all right, guys. <laughs> I'll take that though. Uh, you ain't got change for uh, 10, have you, mate? Yeah. Trough on the game. Yeah. Sorry. Take that one for a pound, please. Oh, 
Oh, no, much out. Two pounds, yeah. <laughs> Want to take a pound for that one? One fifty. Best I can do is a pound on that one, sorry mate. Oh, good Yeah, sorry mate. <laughs> Don't think so. <laughs> Cheers mate. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> well, mate, how much are you after on the uh, games? 50p mate. 50p. What about the uh, DVD box set? Uh, what do you want to pay for it? <laughs> Tempe. <laughs> Alright, it's Tempe for it, you know. Are you serious? Yeah, go on. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me, I think I've got some change. Don't know DVDs, do yeah? you? Uh, I'm more after the box sets, to be honest, mate. Morning. Are you selling the games on their own, or? Games? Uh, this is me, I'll keep. Yeah. Uh, but I'm selling as a bundle the Xbox and the game. 40, yeah? And how much are the, uh, the Xbox? Oh, to be fair. Oh, uh, no, sorry, sorry, uh, the Xbox One. I'm... Two quid, yeah. Take them to, cheers mate. Two quid, yeah? Cheers, mate. Nice one, appreciate it. Sorry. Morning, how much are you off from the games? Two pounds each or three for five pounds? Three for five, yeah. Thank you.
Yeah. Would you do them in four for a fiver? I can't. They've been going all day long for two quid or three for a fiver. So if I get them four, how much would six quid? Yeah, go on then. Five, six, yeah. Thank you. I bag. And we are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you. And for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch and this is Retro Rummage. Aim of the game of this channel is buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, any electrical items I'm getting hands on at boot sales for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded in at CEX for a high price. Um, so yeah, Sunday boot sale today. Um, I actually went to a new boot sale, um, which I'm going to go over in a moment. Um, but I'll go over the, the, the normal Sunday boot sale. Um, yeah, it's definitely, you know, winding down. Um, it's getting quieter now, not, not, as, not as many sellers. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely getting tougher out there. Um, but still managed to make some pickups at the first boot sale. Um, I'll go through these in no particular order. Um, <laughs> first one of the day is... The complete football collection. Now, I have bought this previously, um, and I think at the time it was trading in for four pound. So I paid a pound for it. Um, I've just checked, well, obviously, when I got home, and it's now only trading in for one pound fifty. So it does always go to show you, even with DVDs that you you think you might know a price on, um, always check them. So not exactly a complete for hours. I'm still making a little bit of money on it, but yeah, one pound into one pound fifty. So uh, there's that one. Then um, I did manage to get um, a copy of Croc, Legend of the Gobbos, on uh, PlayStation 1. Um, as you saw in the footage, I did take it out of the case. Uh, I'll take it out now for you. Um, and watching it back, I don't know why I didn't try and buy it with the geezer, to be honest. Um, he, he wanted £5 for it, which, to be fair, is, is a, a fair price for um, Croc. But there is a crack in the case. And I thought, you know, looking back, maybe I should have offered him three pound or something like that. So, um, but yeah, I think this game is about ten pounds normally um, in CEX. So five pounds, you know. I, I, and obviously, you know, with a ten pound game, you have to pay for a delivery if it's not in store. So really, it probably would have ended up costing me like twelve pound. But but the disc um, is it actually in really good condition. I don't know if you can see there, uh, and so is the manual. So. You know, uh, a cracked case is not the end of the world. Um, you know, I can change that further down the line. But yeah, uh, a PlayStation 1 to add to the collection. So yeah, re really happy with that one. Um, also, uh, next one, as you know, I've recently purchased um, a PlayStation 2. And I'm, uh, what's the word, trying to increase my um, increase my collection. This I'm not really a massive fan of driving games, um, but for 50p... And I do believe this one trades in for about £1.50 anyway. Uh, sorry, just peeling all the stickers off. But yeah, so Need for Speed Carbon it is complete. So, you know, 50p for a complete game at the boot sale. Uh, disc is in pretty good condition. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll keep that in my collection for now. And if I don't play it, I can always trade it in further down the line. Um, so yeah, two games there for, for trading. Um, I'll keep that one to the side because I got that from the second boot sale. Um, yeah, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Probably picking this up weekly now. Um, I think this up. I think Saturday. Uh, yeah, Saturday and and Sunday. So, um, yeah, I think at the time I was looking looking at um, the woman had a uh, I think an iPhone five for sale. I'm sure only fifteen pound for it, and I think she said it was on EE. And on EE, it's only worth twenty four pounds. So fifteen pound to to make nine pound extra on a voucher is not really worth it to me. Um, and then as I was about to leave, I see that she had this for sale. And she said £2. I said, we just take pound for it? And she said, yeah. So happy days, £1. And, and as we know, that trades in for £3. So yeah, £1 into £3. Uh, now I've got these two uh, PlayStation um, free games uh, from the same person. They, yeah, it was, I think it was like the first store when I got there. Um, I offered the, uh, sorry, they had a load of PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 games, but PlayStation, I think PlayStation 4 games were only the five reach, and, and they weren't that good, to be fair. I think it was even a couple of FIFAs, but there was uh, Black Ops Call of Duty 3 and The Godfather Part 2 on PlayStation 3. Now, he said £2, and where it was first thing, I thought, uh, I mean, yeah, so that trades in for £3, and I think that trades in for £4. Um, are they complete as well? 
no, that one's not complete, and neither's that one either. So neither of them are complete. But um, normally, first thing in the morning, you know, trying to trying to haggle with people, they don't normally to, uh, you know, especially if they've just unloaded their car, um, they don't tend to budge on prices. So I walked off. I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll go back and I'll ask. And I said, I oh, as you saw in the footage, you know, would you take a quid for a couple of those games? And I'll, I'll have them off you. See, so, yeah, uh, they they did say yes. Um, so yeah, two pound into seven pound days. Um, and then throughout the day, I managed to get two copies of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two. Um, they're only worth fifty uh, p each. Um, oh, sorry, I paid fifty p each for them, and they're worth one pound sixty trading. So. You know, if you can get them for 50p, it's, it's not that bad um, to, to trade in. So, yeah, nothing too great, but keeps the vouchers growing. Um, and then, oh, yeah, <laughs> this one here is Silent Hill, the DVD. This is the, uh, it's like the special, yeah, I think it's the special one. It's like a, a, I don't know if you can see, it's like a tin version one. Um, <laughs> originally, when I, I saw this, uh, there was a PlayStation 2 game. And as I lifted it up, I saw Silent Hill. I was like, oh, my God, it's one of the Silent Hill games. <laughs> but it's just a film. But I only wanted 50p for it, and it actually trades in for £4. So anything Silent Hill um, always seems to be uh, worth money and worth looking out for. So, yeah, 50p into £4. Really happy with that one. Uh, and then I think these two, again, this was maybe one of the first or second stalls that I, I saw. Um, I, I cut the footage off in the... Uh, in, I cut the footage off in the video because um, I turned my torch off and it's just me and him talking in pitch black for like a couple of minutes. So that's why I didn't bother keeping it all in there. Um, but I think, yeah, he's got Doctor Who, the complete first series, and uh, Doctor, Who, Doctor Who, the complete fourth series, which is the one with David Tennant. Um, and I think originally when he, he was like £3 each, um, and then he said £2 each. And I know that both of these trade in for £4. And I was walking off and I said, look, I'll, ta I'll take them both. Uh, or so I think I said that this one, first of all, I said, I'll take it for a pound. And he said, I'll go. And then my wife said not to take anything home. So, yeah, two pound into eight pound. Happy days. Uh, then, yeah, another, another one here, Prison Break, um, 80 episodes, 23 discs. I think I paid two pound for that and it trades in for six pound. So, yeah, nice triple my money on that one. And then the last one from the first... Oh, no, sorry, I'm lying. Uh, so, yeah, the last DVD from... Oh, my God, I'm making a complete mess of it here. Um, the last one DVD from the uh, second boot sale... Were, sorry, from the first boot sale, Fast and Furious 8 Movie Collection. I think I actually picked this up the other week, but it was just that without the sleeve. Um, but, yeah, I think that originally they said they wanted £2, and I'm sure I bought this for a pound the other week, and I thought it was only worth £4. Um, I walked off, had a look, and I think it's actually it's worth uh, six or seven pound. And so I went back and I was like, "Oh, go on, then I'll give you, I'll give you two quid for it." So yeah, two pound into into six or seven pound there. And then yeah, last couple of games. Um, this guy here, I just missed it as well. He had a load of Switch games that he was uh, selling. Uh, guy grabbed them all straight away. Um, I think he ended up paying seventy pound for him. Obviously, it was a pile like that. I couldn't. I didn't know all of the titles that was in it, but I'm sure, you know, they was probably worth it. As as you know, Switch games um, are quite expensive. But he did have some some good Xbox One titles uh, for sale um, that they was all worth at least five pound shopping. But he wanted a fiver a game. Um, best one is Battlefield 2042, um, and then I've also got Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, I think I paid eight, uh, well four pound each for them. So I said, would you do two for um, for four, sorry, two for eight pound, and yeah, they they chop in for um, twenty four pound for the pair of them. So yeah, that, that's still tripping my money. Eight into twenty four pound, really happy with that. And then yeah, uh, these lot. Um, so as you all know, winter's coming, and um, the, the boot sales that I normally go to, uh, they actually finish for the year. Uh, in October, I don't know the exact date. I think for some reason, the October sixteenth is in my mind, um, but I'll have to double check. Um, but there is another boot sale um, near me that is open through till December. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it um, give it a go on Sunday after the normal boot sale that I go to, um, just to, to to scope it out. 
And I'll tell you what, I'm so glad I went. I, even, even though I turned up at 8.30 a.m., all of these games were still left. Um, some of them I didn't even actually manage to capture on film because um, my, my GoPro had run out of battery by then. That's how late in the day it was. And I also managed to pick up a couple of DVDs as well. So I'll, I'll start with these. Um, <laughs> this guy here, um, he had uh, this, this game, I think he wanted 50p for it. It's uh, Clever Kids Dino Land on the DS. I think it only chops in for £1.20. Um, and then I said, oh, how much do you want for the God of a DVD collection. He said, how much do you want to give me for it? And when anyone ever says that, I go 10p because I think it's a silly question to ask someone who's wanting to buy something. He went, yeah, go on then, mate. So I paid 60p and they tra trade in for £2.40. So <laughs> yeah, can't go wrong with that. Um, and then I've got Bottom, the complete uh, series one to three. Um, it's sealed as well. Um, paid a pound for that and it chops in for £4. So yeah, happy days with that one. Now, these, let me try and figure out which ones I bought from who. I think I bought that from one person. That, oh, I, I can't really remember, to be fair, but I bought all of these at the second boot sale. I think these four, no, actually, I remember now, I remember. Grand Theft Auto, I think the Grand Theft Auto 5 and the two Black Ops. Sorry, bear with me. So, yeah, the two, so I've got Call of Duty, <laughs> Black Ops. Um, on the Xbox 360, two copies of them, Star Wars The Force Unleashed and Grand Theft Auto i5, um, offered the same woman, uh, she was selling them £2 each or three for a fiver, but she'd done four for £6. Um, and yeah, as we know, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, they both, uh, sorry, Call of Duty Black Ops on the Xbox 360, they both chop in for £4. And Grand Theft Auto i5, that chops in for £5 as well. And then Star Wars Force, Force Unleashed chops in for £3. So, so, yeah, more than happy to pay you know, £6 for, for those four. Um, I also managed to get a copy of Grand Theft Auto 4 um, off of another lady when I first walked in. And that's literally, I, I walked into this second boot sale that I'd never been to before. Um, the first stall that I walked up to, there was this for sale. Um, she was like, yeah, pound. And I was thinking, oh. That's surprising because normally, you know, by half seven at my normal boot sale, all of the games are cleared out. You know, you'd be, you'd be lucky to find a copy of that gone half seven. Um, so I was thinking, well, this is a, a strange. Um, and yeah, obviously, whether or not it was a complete fluke, I'll probably go next week and there'll be nothing there. But this week, it seemed like there was maybe no one else there buying games. There was a couple of other stalls where they were selling games, but for a little bit more uh, money than I would like to have spent. Um, but yeah, so one pound into three pound on that one. And then I think I bought this and Call of Duty World at War for off the same person. I think I managed to get this on footage. So yeah, Left, Left 4 Dead 2 and Call of Duty World at War. Um, both of those chopped in, uh, so that chops in for six and that chops in for four. So two pound into 10 pound. Happy days. And then this was the last one, and I'm gutted that I wasn't able to get it on footage for, for you guys. Um, but, yeah, they had loads loads of uh, games for sale, um, and I paid a pound each for them. So I've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2, trades in for um, £8. Grand Theft Auto 5, I think that chops in for 3 or £4. Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City, that trades in for um, £4 as well. Left 4 Dead. That chops in for um, £4, I think. And then I've got Fight Night uh, Champion, which chops in for £4 as well. So, yeah, re really happy with all of that. So, my total spend, well, so obviously I spent £5 on that, which I'm keeping. Um, and then on the rest of the stuff down there, I think I spent about £35. Um, and it chops in for maybe 115, 120, I'll, I'll put it on the screen um, now how, how much uh, exactly it was. Um, but yeah, re really happy with that. Cons and to be honest, it was the second boot sale that saved it. You know, I didn't really pick up too much uh, from the first boot sale, but the second one was was immense. So looking forward to going there again next week. Um, and yeah, hopefully, if I get, I'm even thinking about going there maybe earlier. I don't know, I'll, I'll see how it goes. Um, but maybe going there earlier and get into my normal one later but then there's probably no point going there but i'll see how i feel 
but yeah um really happy with that so so yeah um as always everyone thank you for all of the uh, subscriptions all of the comments all the uh, views everything really uh, really do appreciate it um so yeah take care and i'll see you all in the next one